hello guys and welcome to today's video in today's video we are going to be talking about how to back test for free in 2024 now as a trader you are very much aware that one of the four pillars of um, a good trader is back testing you know it helps you with um, get gathering data around your trading helps you with um, seeing how your system works over a period of time and just generally it's something that's very necessary for every trader in order to build confidence to a degree you know people back test could be testing on a daily a weekly basis or whatnot now um, in this video i'm going to be showing you a platform which we can use to back test now of course there's trading view which is a paid platform and then there is forex tester 5 as well which is the paid platform meaning you have to pay a certain amount of um, dollars in order to access the um, capacity to be able to back test but in this particular video i'm going to be showing you guys a platform which would help you to be able to back test it's available both on um, desktop and also there is a mobile app for that so let's jump right into that section all right great so um here we are my browser and the platform's website is gochatting.com now not to worry i'm going to leave a link in the description um that would help that would give you access to this trade up without having some mis um, use a wrong link yeah let me call that so gochatting.com is the platform um which you can use for free back testing now when this is how the website looks like once you um, go on the home page um you at the right hand side here you have um you would have a section to log in but as you can see i'm already logged in here so i wouldn't have to do that right so once you log in it's very simple now i'm going to enter the um, platform's um dashboard not really dashboard but the chat system to show you guys how different tools work it's very similar to trading view so if you're someone that have been using trading view already you wouldn't have much of a problem utilizing this tool but let's dive right in now um right down here as you can see here you have a search box right here which you can use to impute the tool now i'm going to be back testing or i'm going to be using an example of gold so s-a-u-u-s-d and i'll just simply, simply click on it and as you can see this is what the chatting system looks like it is slightly similar to trading view um so for those who have been using trading view like i said already it is very very similar but you know it's kind of still under development and um, some things are not as slick as it is on trading view. so let me just clear up the chats and then show you guys how to make use of this platform <laughs> now on the on the left hand side so the left hand um, panel you can see my uh, where my mouse is you have a plethora of tools now you wouldn't have it like this why it is like this is that I've customized mine for the major tools which i use but at the top here you can see where it's saying drawing tools so you just click on the right there and then you see a number of tools now i've i've favorited arrow because i use it a lot let's say you want to favorite arrow marker you just click on that and it enters your right hand um, toolbar to explore others you just need to scroll down and you see a whole lot of, the, of them so if you use fibonacci gan you know all of these tools on trading view you can also find them here so for my own case i've already favorited some of the tools i use which is down here now at the top of this of the of their layout you have where you can choose the particular charts you want to visit so right now we have xausd say i want to change gbp usd i just tap on it and then type gbp usd and then you can see gbp usd comes up um okay here we have the time frame very similar to how it is on trading view when i click on the interval i can see others i can favorite the ones i need which i have already done we have chat so you can decide to choose your line chat area chat and various other chats we have some other tools here which i'll touch on in a moment um, on the right hand side if i'm being completely honest i um, i don't use any of this right i do not use any of this and then at the bottom um there are also some little stuff so like you have the save so you just click on it <clears throat> to save your chat so you can always revisit it. but note that this will only work when you have created an account and as you can see on the top left right you can see i'm logged in with my email all right so 
now we have the chart this is the daily time frame if you use the if you use trading view for example and um, you want to back test and you are, you are on the free version you are on the free plan you will know that you can only back test on the daily time frame which for a lot of traders you know day traders and the likes it wouldn't serve you right so this would be um of service to you um, virtually so let's look at how it works so say i want to back test um let me call it from let's say november or december so i want to i want to basically like show how i how would have traded a particular move in this area here all you just need to click on is click on this replay so you can see i clicked on it and you will notice this pop-up come up here right now i hover the uh, my my mouse over the price area and you can see it's saying double click to start to select candle start so let's say i want to start from here i just double click and then it cuts out the, that the price after that right so that's how it basically works now um <clears throat> looking at the pop-up for the um for the for the replay button or for back testing you have the speed at which um, the candles will be coming up. So right here, we have one second per bar. So it literally plays, when you play the price, it literally takes one second for a new bar to print. Um, if I, I can increase it, you have 4.9 seconds, which is very, very long in my opinion. Like I'm trying to back, I'm trying to simulate. So I would want something that is um, that takes less time. So I'd rather stick to somewhere around, um, let me see. This could actually be a little bit buggy. So yeah, I'll just stick to one, one second per bar. I think that should work very fine for me. Um, to start playing price, you know, you just select um, this here, and then you can see price has started playing on its own, you know, one second per bar. Now, I want to go back a bit to select, to, like I want to go take the um, price a little bit um, backward. So I just select this button here, calendar, and then I go, same thing, you double click, right? So, um, for those who trade the way I trade, don't worry, I won't mention how I trade, but those who know I trade would immediately know what I'm looking out for. Um, so I'm just going to draw, make some analysis here. Um, just going to make some analysis. Those who know I trade would obviously catch up. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter based on how I trade. However it is you trade, be it SMC, be it ICT, be it whatever, even if your strategy is just wake up and buy it. I mean, or even if it's just a double top or um, use of um, moving averages or whatever, um, you can use this platform. That's the very good thing about it without having to pay. Um, yeah. Now, GoChatting has a paid um, plan, but it doesn't restrict you from being able to backtest on their free plan, which is a very beautiful thing. Um, so, okay. <clears throat> so if I, let me just play price a bit. Okay. Uh, I've actually passed you out. I've lost to take my entry. So, I'm on the daily. I'm going to go down to the four hour time frame right now. Um, okay. So, this would be what I'm looking at. Just going to remove all of this. And then I play price a bit. Okay. So, those are traded, but you know when this happened last year. Um, okay. So, now I'm going to go down to the one hour time frame and um, see what we have there. Okay. I'll go down to the 15 minutes time frame to, able, to be able to see my structure now. <clears throat> this is the trade that I took, but just to kind of like show it when while I'm back testing, you know. Because as traders, sometimes you might take a trade and you want to like go back to see how you would have performed when you are not under stress. But the very funny thing is that trading is basically a I'll call it a risk game and also a pressure management game, a stress management game. So how are you able to manage yourself under stress while trading? So at this point in time, for the way I trade, I would actually be setting a, an, an order here, most likely a sell stop order here. Um, so yeah, let me see, let me size that up. So as you can see, this is probably where I would have put my stop loss. And as for my take profits, you know, targeting some structural loads, 
around this area here. You know, I'm using the one hour for that purpose. Um, so if I click price for the little bits, you know, price plays around, right? At this point in time, obviously I'll be in, um, what is it called? Drawdown, obviously. That's like, that's what it is. So, now, but you are also treat. Um, <laughs> I don't want to mention the name because I don't want to bring any bias into this video. Um, for me, there would have been another entry here, but I'll just leave it as this. I've set the entry. I didn't see price, whatever I did, but you know, it has gone deep in drawdown and now it's kind of reversing. So let me keep playing price and then we'll see what happens. So let me just extend this. So right now, from the way I trade, I would probably, I would most likely move my stop loss to break even. So if I check that right here, at this point, I'll be running 1.39%. So yeah, let me yeah, create a 1.2%. So I'll most likely be at break even at this point of time. <laughs> so let's see what price does. Price keeps selling, selling. Mm, let me go down to the let me go up to the one hour time frame. As you can see, you ju I'm just basically playing price and then seeing what it does. So, what the same thing you can do on trading view, you know, you just basically do the same thing here. And, you know, okay, now I'm seeing that price has dropped. For my management plan, I've seen that okay, price has also come all the way down to where I was looking to take profit. So. Um, all I'll simply just do now is to throw my stop loss all the way down here. Yeah, the way I trade, I actually throw my stop loss. Now, if, if you want me to be doing a little bit of um, technical analysis and stuff, just let me know in the comment section and then um, we'll see how we can incorporate that into the videos I'll be making going forward. Um, so, let's see what happens. Price is still playing around. This is the one hour time frame. Like price is still playing around and it eventually tags me out right so um as you can see from my back test i've seen that this is the trade that played out you know um this it banked 5.7 percent very healthy um trade if you ask me now um of course we are back testing you want to have a back test journal right and the very simple way of capturing this particular trade so uh, there was something i missed right let me take it back a little bit before the entry so when you're back testing now when you're trading live of course you take your screenshots before and after now this is before the trade you see this um oops, option here that says share image so once you click on it um you see it's it's, it's we generate the chat image and also a, a link now for those who would prefer to use um the image to put in their journal you can just right click copy image and go paste it where you want to use it for those who prefer link you can also do the same just copy the link right here and go put it in your journal same thing with when the trade has played out you know after screenshots after the trade has played out the screenshots very similar thing so let me just do that right now um, yeah so same thing i just click on this and it generates the screenshot for me i copy the link and i'm done right so that's how simple it is to use go chatting it's a very it's a very intuitive platform um it has a bit of glitches here and there for example if you're using a screen if you're using a, a screen touch laptop so your screen you can you can um work on your screen once you tap on the screen i've noticed that um it's harder to make use of your mouse going forward so you kind of like have to refresh the page but aside from that um everything is good with the platform right everything is good with the platform so um one last thing i should touch on is that they have a discord server where you can um chat with any where you can make any complaints so like you have the bug, bug reports you have the general group where you can chat with other go chats um users go chatting.com users right um say you have a, um, a, a something to let them know you can just drop it here and then the team would work on them i find they are seem very very responsive and um they actually like okay you also have the feature request so let's say there's something you'd like them to add 
you know you can drop it here and they would look at it right so um thank you for watching the video all the way to the end if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like um share this video with your trading friends subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next video which will obviously be value packed as this one um there are links in the video for both this platform there are links for those who want to get a, a proper account from the likes of tft alpha capital and um, i think there's one i really can't remember off the back of my head now so thank you very much for um, watching this video to the end and i will see you in the next video bye bye